Glory to Jesus Christ. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Hello, my beautiful brothers and my beautiful sisters in Christ. I hope that you all are well in the Lord. It's good to see you guys. And as always, you know that I am honored to be your sister. So people of God, this is a word of encouragement for someone. This is also a prophetic word as well. Um, I didn't think that I needed to share this, but I felt led by Holy Spirit to come on here today. And one of the things that have been in my heart, I'm, I'm dealing with my own personal life and, and, and God is leading me into coming on more and not only delivering what thus say of the Lord, not only teaching, but also coming on and just being Shanika, just being myself, making myself available to you with the transparency that we sometimes need in life because everything is not perfect, guys. We we all fall short of the glory of God all day, every day. We all make mistakes. We all do things that are not pleasing to God. We all have emotions. We all have feelings. We all have life experiences that break us down we have things that are happening in our lives that make us not so happy and then life is just a cycle of ups and downs does that make sense guys and so I was thinking about that this morning and there was a phrase that I just kept hearing in my mind and I know that it was the enemy that was trying to come in and steal my joy, uh, trying to steal my harvest, trying to steal the promises in my life, trying to steal some things that God had specifically told me that he was going to give me, okay? And I kept hearing wasted time, wasted time. I kept hearing you wasted so much time. And I remember just sitting in the bed this morning and say, God, so much time has passed. I'm 42 years old and I can't even see where the time went. But what I can see is that it doesn't seem like I am where I need to be. It doesn't seem like I've accomplished those things that I was supposed to accomplish. It doesn't look like there is enough time left for me to do the things that you have called me to do. And then I started to hear God say, beloved, I need you to come out of this. I need you to be encouraged. I need you to understand that what was meant for evil, what was meant for evil for your life, I, the Lord, your God, turned every single circumstance, that I turned every single situation, that I turned every single event for your good. And even though you don't seem to see the progress that you have made thus far, even though you can't see what you are doing for my kingdom on today, you need to know, beloved, that I love you more than anybody could have ever loved you in a lifetime. And so, child of God, I don't know who this word is for. The times that you were in your sin, the times where you turned away from God, the times where you made those mistakes, the, the times where you said the wrong things, the times when you spent too much time in relationships, you spent too much time focusing on things that God did not approve of you to be in, the things that God had previously asked you to do and you did not complete them the constant failures okay the constant seeing of yourself of not being good enough to do the things that God has called you to do all of those things were meant for evil to come against your life from the enemy but God is saying that he used every single minute every single second of those situations, of those relationships, of those circumstances, of those experiences to teach you, to train you, to mold you. God is saying that there is not one second that was wasted during the time that you feel like you wasted. God said there was not one minute wasted during the time that you think that you wasted. God said that everything was used. Nothing goes to waste under the son of God. But God says he took everything that you've been through Everything that you thought was wrong, everything that you thought you messed up, and he turned it around for your good. 
God says your past is your past. Your present is your present. And your future will be your future if it is his will. So God says, beloved, I need you to come out of the time that you feel like you wasted. Because your latter days, your latter days, now that you are walking with Jesus Christ, God says your latter days are going to be far better than your former. God says, I love you. God says, you're doing a good job. God says, keep going, beloved. I'll take care of you. Okay? So that is the word for today, guys. I love you all. Thank you for coming. Remember, we are here on purpose to glorify God in Jesus' holy name. I thank you all for subscribing to Shanika Byers United for Christ. I thank you all for subscribing to our second channel, United for Christ Prayer Room. And if it's the Lord's will, guys, I will be back here sometime soon to serve you. Bye.